Hello guys, welcome to Ankit Sunil Vets. Today I'll tell you the 12 side effects of LASIK surgery. Just before this video, I want to tell you if you have already undergone a LASIK procedure, please do not watch this video. Be happy, stay away from this video. If you are planning to do a LASIK surgery, then I must recommend that you watch this video till the end. This video is not intended to hurt anyone. Reference for the scientific data and medical facts provided in this video is given at the description box and also at the end of this video you can go through. So just let me tell you there are lot of varieties of LASIK. It's something called customized LASIK, something called femto laser LASIK, custom femto laser, there's something called epi LASIK. So just to tell you what happens in LASIK surgery is they cut your cornea, they make a flap out of it and then they put the laser beam and they burn it with the laser they reduce its thic thickness they change its shape and they put the flap back if the flap is made by a laser then it call it as no blade lasik if the flap is not made just above your intact cornea only if they put the laser and they burn it then they call it as epi lasik overall what all the lasik surgery do is they change your cornea shape and make it thin so the first common complication or the first common side effect which occur is dry eye it is very very common it's not only causes discomfort but it can reduce visual quality and this condition may be permanent to and to treat that you have to regularly put artificial tears and it is seen that around approx 95% of the patient experience this dry eye problem the second thing which i would like to tell you is in all the lasik surgery they reduce the corneal thickness so when your cornea is thin it can result into corneal ectasia it means cornea may bulge out as the cornea has become thin so we call it as weak cornea if the cornea is weak you cannot participate in boxing wrestling martial art or any other activities in some of the jobs also they say that if you have undergone any refractive surgery people are unfit for the particular job and most of the lasik surgery where they make a flap there is lot of chances that this flap may come out later on and and may cause lot of problem and obviously if you undergo any surgery there are chances that you can get an infection there may be loss of vision which is rare but still it's one of the side effect some patient may lose the vision which cannot be corrected by glass or lenses or surgery later on after the surgery you may have glare which means you may have intolerance toward the bright light be so difficult to drive in the night in most of the lasik surgery it can result into over correction or under correction if the under or over correction is done then again you are back to square one and you have to wear specs and this costly surgery money is complete waste as i told it changes your corneal shape later on if your eye power increases or decreases then you cannot wear contact lenses that time because it it may not properly fit to your cornea it may decrease your contrast sensitivity it is seen that as your age will advance the result of your lasik surgery may diminish so lasik is generally already avoided in young age and if the person whose refractive power is constantly changing or he's a diabetic or having any poor healing conditions but what the fda says is fda is us food and drug administration committee so fda is such a organization which give license to uh, new drugs or to new medical devices or new any procedure what fda itself says is certain complications are unavoidable in per, in a percentage of patient and there are no long term data available as lasik is relatively new the long term safety and effectiveness of lasik surgery is still unknown so that's why the fda the national institute of eye department of defense they have launched uh, a research project which is called as lasik quality of life collaboration project and lot of research still need to be done just want to tell you there are lot of people who are against lasik like some people committed suicide when they got this uh, complications there is a full community against it and they have their website called lasikcomplications.com you can go and check out here you will find lot of doctors lot of organizations who are against lasik surgery and they call it as scam is it a life saving procedure or an emergency to do a lasik surgery you must assess the risk benefit ratio they may tell you lasik is uh, like 99% successful but still are you the one who will be in that 1% is it worth taking that risk to be to undergo any complication still there is a option for you to wear a contact lens with some safety precautions and you can love your specs now spectacles are there in a new 
fashion trend personally i also know very senior ophthalmologist and uh, other doctors uh, who never recommend lasik surgery to their own patient so my message for you guys is lasik is always a optional and cosmetic surgery and the main point is it is irreversible even if you want it you cannot reverse it back and whatever lasik procedure you undergo there will be certainly corneal thinning which already have lot of complications so think twice before making a decision because ultimately it's you you have to make decision for your own life so here is the reference for the data which i used in my video for more videos subscribe to my channel follow me on facebook see you guys in my next video tata bye bye